Hello y'all, it is day, what, three? <laughs> All right, advent calendars. This is yeah, interesting. I know I it is. Like it's not that bad. Yeah, I like it. Yes, like yes, it. and this is before we even tasted our wine and our spirit yes. today, okay? Yes, yes, all right, let's do this, okay? Day three review. All right, so our Costco, you know, like I say, I always open it up in the morning so that I can know how to prepare the wine. So today is a white wine. It's a Sauvignon Blanc. So it's a chill day, white wines like Sauvignon Blanc. I think they serve it like 54 degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit Celsius now, okay? Um, and so, <laughs> So we have a Sauvignon Blanc, so I was able to uh, put it in the refrigerator so it could chill the whole day. And what you got, David, in the spirits calendar? I am doing an effing vodka. Hey, it's a kid's show. I know, right? <laughs> this is effing vodka, but it's um, cucumber vodka. I actually had this last year. This is actually pretty good. Was... Okay, I doubled up from last yeah, year. Yeah, impressively, okay. you know, surprising, you know, and I thought it was great. Didn't get it again. I was, I really wanted to, never did, but here it is. It's supposed to be pretty good. Now, the good thing about vodka, what I'm mm -hmm. going to do today is pour it over some ice because okay. vodka is best served chill. That's the yep. way to do it. Mm -hmm. Yep, and we good. always have two bottles of vodka in the freezer. All right, so I'm going to pour, and you know, Sauvignon Blanc is from green skin grapes, and these grapes are typically popular in like Bordeaux, France, Napa Valley, even Chile. And so, see the color, and I know this is a stemless glassware and i know some people hate it but I, I needed it because it says mary on the top and so i just wanted you to show see the color that we've got here and so typically sauvignon blanc is more like a dry wine um and they call it like a grassy wine so this one here i mean sauvignon blanc you can if you're like cool you can go like savvy b or sauv blanc that's what they call it. I'm not that cool though, so I'll just say Sauvignon Blanc. But I will order Sauvignon Blanc unless it's like a, a wine dinner that's paired. And so it's really not my first um, wine to go to. But let me taste and smell. Already, I I I, I um sense that sense the um, acidity of this wine. Grassy meadow? No, it's not. Not really. It kind of smells like a Chardonnay or what the Chardonnay should have been in day one. Doesn't smell that bad. <laughs> oh, lots of herbs. Really fruity. It ends like with a grapefruit. Not that bad. It's really crisp. Mm. I'm so happy this is a better bottle. Nice and dry. Not that sweet. Um, not bad. It's your typical sabi bee. And it's, what uh... you got? You know, I don't know. Let me try. Okay, we're sharing. It's okay. Yeah, I can smell the crisp. Yeah, it's very dry. Mm. At least it's not a bad bottle. <laughs> yeah, not a bad bottle. It was actually pretty good. I feel like, like you I said, should... the acidity is there. You got some. Um, yeah. It's fruity in the background, yeah. but it's that, that oak, the dryness right. isn't, isn't as that bad as you would think. And this is why I prefer to have a, like, a stem. Because, you, like, when you hold your glass, it kind of changes the temperature of it. Yeah. Okay. okay. <clears throat> mm. So while he's doing that, the cheese that we have today is Red Leicester. It's kind of like a, a cheddar cheese, but it's made out of, made from England. But, so this is more crumbly. I can, I can already... Feel that it's like soft. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. And I like cheese in general, anyway. Okay. And as I said before, it's best served chilled. So what we have is. I know I made that. I'm so glasses. excited. How did we Actual never have glasses. that? I know it's like. We should yeah, always have that in the freezer. Day. Tequila, tequila, vodka. vodka. I mean, if you like your stuff chill, and at the end of the day, you can just make it, drop it in as ice too. Oh yeah, yeah. Your in your but, like water bottle or something. Yeah, but it's pretty neat, right? That was cool. I know. Only problem is my hands are cold now. But. Oh my gosh. All right. So once again, Effen is um, Effen is the Netherlands um, brand. They're a very social conscious group too, so they they support the LBGT plus Q plus community um, a lot. And uh, so that's part of their that's part of their value system, and they put it out there for everybody to know. 
Uh, but it's but as far as the liquor goes, it's once again it's it's distilled in a, a column pot, so that allows for a little extra distillation, a little clear out a lot of the impurities in one run. And plus, they also run it through a carbon filter afterwards, so you get a very clean. Oh my gosh, I am such a nerd. <laughs> well, you gotta talk liquor. You gotta talk liquor. Right? Liquor. Okay. So, and, so they I'll run just it through drink again. It. Yeah. Pour it. I and so they, taste they it. run it through again for the active distill. So it makes for very cruise, and then they just infuse it with um, cucumbers. They have a couple other flavors, strawberries, things like that. Oh, I haven't had the strawberry. But, okay. All right. So pour, I'm pour it into over. this glass. Oh, do you want to taste it? Wait, hold. Okay. Do you want to taste it warm first? I know. I mean, not warm, but room temperature. Room Let's temperature. do that because it really changes the flavor, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Ooh, I can already smell the cucumbers. Oh yeah, so it'll refreshing. be really fresh with the cucumbers. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and what I love like about tasting is just like... A whole cucumber. It smells like a whole <laughs> cucumber. Skin and all, everything. I mean, but seed, you know what I like about tasting? It it's like it just attaches to a memory always, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, like this just mm-hmm. reminds me of summer. Like so refreshing cucumber, cucumber salad. Yeah, and then you can taste all the cucumbers. The vodka itself is hidden behind that, but that's a good thing Oh, about I it. love this. But it's definitely cucumbers. Great mixer. Great, mm, you mixer. know. Mixer, yeah. yeah. So it could be a good, like, um, mash up cucumber, yeah, muddle okay. it up, and yeah. do a little martini do or something. Do a little something. martini, cucumber martini. There you go, right? That little extra vodka in there, good to go. Mm. Right, yeah, let's pour the... it in that. Yeah, let's pour it in the... Um... Then we'll do it over here. Over oh, the it'll change the, the taste there. It's going to melt through before we're we're so... Like this is our first time using oh, yeah, this too, I know. by the I'm way. I'm really excited yeah. about that. No, 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 go oh, ahead. Yeah. It's your spirit calendar. Same smell. Same smell. I'm, I'm sure it doesn't Guess, change Oh, yeah, the there, it is, smell. there it is. Oh, you smell. Oh, yeah? It took a little bit just because. Mm. It's all been done there now. Hmm. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, like you said, it doesn't change this stuff, but just having taste in the ice and kind of with the wet thing up there. Oh. You know, but it's mm-hmm. still refreshing. I don't think it's a sipping vodka, though. No, it's, you, I think, no, it's not necessary. I, I would, feel like it's a good base, it's a but good base, it's good not mixer. a sipping bo- vodka. At least not this this one. At least not the um, the mixed one. But I haven't mm. tried the original, which I should try oh, to see if it is a The big, base? Yeah. See Because we don't normally buy this brand. Right. I mean, my yeah. go-to is Tito's. But that Tito's is not what we have in the freezer, by the mm. way. But yeah, oh yeah, it's not really a sipping because it causes the cucumbers and all stuff. It's definitely a mixer. Yeah, definitely a mixer. Um, but yeah, it's clean, it's smooth, it's refreshing. Yeah. We'd have to find like you know, a good cocktail recipe. Good cocktail recipe, throw it in there. Okay, good to go. But so yeah, I think we like the we like the F and cucumber vodka. Yeah, we like it. Yes, and mm. we also like the day three. <sighs> Savvy B. Savvy B. And look, I'm holding it up here so it doesn't change the temperature of the, the wine. Ooh, now it tastes funny. Oh wait, I didn't oh, yeah, go. I didn't do my um my truffle. Day three. I really need. I really need glasses that work. Where's three, babe? Eye glasses. Is this three? Yeah, that's three. Oh, sheesh. So then you can do this. Ooh. We're so then you smart. can do this. Oh yeah, boy! <laughs> and then you can let it sit. Mm. This is. I feel like this is eggnog. Mm. Not bad. You know, we should do that more often. What? Is pair food with whiskey, with spirits. Do people don't do that enough? Right? Yeah. At least I don't see that a lot. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen dinners. Here, yeah, I've seen here and there some whiskey dinners yeah. and things of that nature. Yeah, we've been to one. And it was actually... like Glenmore, I think. Yeah. Was it Glenmore that? No, it wasn't Glenmore. Yeah, Glenmore. Yeah, it was Glenmore. Or Glenmore, Glenmore Ray. I don't Glenmore. know. Glenmore Ray, something like that. Whatever. It was good. It was the first time I went to one of those. I was like, oh, it's a good idea. And you see them pop up here and there. But you see a lot of wine dinners and all that yeah. pairing and stuff of that nature. Just like you a really need whiskey. But you don't need a lot. Maybe it, half an ounce. Yeah. It has but, to be half an ounce because you can't. Can you imagine? Yeah, but whiskey's going. Course. Yeah, that's all it was really. Just a just a pour. Yeah. You know, but yeah, that's the concept. It's like what goes well with a good meal. What's a good whiskey that goes well with a good meal? And you need to be able to pair that. How do you bring out those flavors? Because yeah. 
you know, just like wine and whiskey does have flavor palette. It has has body. It has this. Now, will it bring it out the out flavor food. of the food or flavor of the whiskey? It, the, both, in a sense that if you parent it right, you oh, should get yeah. You should get That'll a be pairing of the flavors. Level. That's right. So now you're tasting the food. Honey, you're so passionate. With, you know, with the whiskey, and then you next thing you know, you have this. Then it's just a, a not a miracle, but it's like this, <laughs> it is a miracle when like you like pair it right in your mouth. And well, like, okay, so David likes the brown stuff, and you know I like like wine when I have my dinner, and so I pair when we have steak. I pair with a good red. He comes up with his brown glass and glass with brown liquid, and I'm like, wait, I have my right, I have an idea. Right, but, but that's the thing. You just like that. You don't. Relate whiskey with a good meal, right? yeah, and that's what and that's what I've been trying to do. Is like, well, I'm having a good meal. I'm having steak tonight. But why can't you finish it off with a whiskey? You do, but that's but that's a different finish, right? Because after you have a meal, you're having something that you need something a little sweeter or mm. this and that based on what you had. So if you had fish, you may not want to finish it off yeah. with something sweet, but maybe something um, a little more earthy, something. Real smooth, you know, things like that. So it's like a mad idea of that. But yeah. if you have steak or pasta, then you're going to want something a little sweeter at the end, you know, more of a a, a brandy or maybe that, you know, afterwards. Zacapa rum. Zacapa rum, you know, something, you know, depending on how you like it. His or, yeah, favorite. You know, you know, if you do fish, you get the nice, you get some scotch afterwards yeah. or during the meal. That's kind of how I think about it, especially some islay. Um, scotch that has more of yeah. the um, salty, um, the ocean smells to it and feels to it. Mm -hmm. You want something like that to go with your fish or whatever. You know, I'm just thinking, you know, it's like a whole lot of ways you can make whiskey or spirits into a good pairing with a meal that enhances the meal. We should host it one. Yeah, we That'd should. be so much That'd fun. That'd be so much fun. All right. Bye, guys. That's day three. Day three. Cheers. See you tomorrow. Day four.